Someday we'll get paid for this. I just think it makes me more of a cool human. You know, it's like, oh, Skinner, oh, he struggles. He has a struggle. To another enlightening episode of the Smut Cave. I, as always, am your host, the Spelunker, and uh, as you can see here, we're doing things a little bit differently this evening. We are starting in on an incredible journey through uh, some favorite artistic uh, individuals of mine, going through them, experiencing them, learning about them. The first guest of this intriguing artistic series is uh, a great man, a great artist, who is known to the world as Skinner. Hi, good, good evening. <coughs> Kevin. So, Skinner, I wanted to introduce you as a painter, but then I thought graphic design, and then I said, no, wait, music. And then I thought, oh, but there's also videos. What, what is there to say about you? Uh, I'm unhinged, and I don't, I don't know when to stop doing things. But people, I keep asking me, but I, to stop, but I don't. I'm hoping that it it gets cool. Uh, cool. You're hoping that it gets cool. In what sense would you say? Just get real cool and popular. At the um, get like a thousand hits on the tubes on the YouTube. Excellent. Now we're here in New York City at the moment where Skinner is putting on a show of sorts. Skinner, could you tell us a little bit about the show that has brought you to New York? Yeah, it's it's a show, uh, kind of bratty, hateful little show, um, kind of commentary on, on some social stuff and Throw in a little satanic energy. You know, I don't think Satan's really that tough, but or, or even that threatening or anything, but like, I consider most of uh, human endeavors to be sort of satanic in some way, because they're selfish. That's what it is. Satanism is just doing your own thing that you want regardless of what other people want or what's best for the whole, the group as a whole. So all y'all satanic motherfuckers out there, that's what you are, everybody, the whole government, it's all satanic, it's all, it's all selfish and self-absorbed, so deal, just say that you're satanic, just say it, just get it over with. So you're confirming to us that you yourself are a satanist? No way man, I'm not into that shit. No, I'm a hippie. But. One cannot deny the satanic influence present in your works. Why do you think there's this prominent uh, admiration for the Dark Lord, and uh, in what ways does that most manifest itself in your uh, canon? Well, I think the thing is the status quo being an overarching sort of deity in itself, and if you try to subvert that or challenge that, the, the, the idea is that you're, you need to be stopped, but really you don't need to be stopped because as soon as some overarching status quo deity rears its head, it needs to be chopped off immediately. And then the next, the person that chopped that head off, they become that deity, chop their head off and so on and so on and so on and just keep chopping down the tree trunks of oppression. And uh, I, you know, I don't really think, 
like there's not really much I don't know satanic you know uh, real power or whatever you know if you want to like smear a bunch of blood on your body and have sex with your, your family members or something like that it's just gross it's not satanic you're not casting any spells shit is not gonna go your way you're better off just you know stealing uh, from Whole Foods <laughs> Certainly, in your work, there's just many creatures. You go for the creatures. The humans are often almost like background players or players that will eventually become these monsters. You know, I sometimes uh, draw the people uh, living in a world of these uh, deities. These, just like people. I'm, I'm really fascinated by the old drawings of people in hell. Uh, you know, with big rocks on their backs, walking around hell, miserable for all times. And I think the interesting thing is that, you know, it's like, man, that's what you do here, now. You got rocks all on, on your backs, just carrying them around in hell. Don't wait till you get to hell to just figure out that it sucks. Just take, get rid of the rocks now and do something that makes you feel free and light. So... You're essentially doing the Lord's work in uh, showing us what's wrong inside. Why, why did Johnny have a bad day? Why did Billy have a so-so day at summer camp? You know, it's, it's demons. We all have them. Yeah, I had a demon that made me shit my pants when I was little. And uh, still, still kind of dealing, dealing with, with that, that demon. But uh, I just think it makes me more of a cool human. To deal with. It's like, oh, Skinner, oh, he struggles. He has a struggle. This shit. Hello, Gordon. Smart cave. Smart cave. Smart cave. Smart cave. Uh, is there any kind of way to make this transformation happen? The occult ways, and we're gonna get we're gonna get you altered, an altered beast. Okay, just cut it deep for Satan. Oh, oh wee! <laughs>